ever been on fire? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tangents. On today's episode, we resurrect a deleted episode. Vinny and I get reaction time lessons from Nitro Funny Car driver Tommy Johnson Jr. And a Liberty Walk GTR stops by the donut garage and, well, we decide to show it to you. You know, we found that a lot of people would love to come by the donut garage, but not everybody lives close. So we had an idea. Yeah, so we had this kind of wild idea that we take this whole show and bring it on the road. Yeah. And we pitched this to Holly and they were crazy enough to let us do it. So we're packing up the entire donut garage and bringing it to LS Fest West in Las Vegas on May 4th through 6th. So here's the deal. Obviously we can't bring all of this that you see because we actually don't like work out of a mobile trailer even though we have one here. It's, it's kind of bolted to the ground. So we had a better idea for you. Let's show you. Better idea. So here it is. We bought two containers. We're gonna prep these things to look pretty similar to the ones we have in the actual donut garage. All them out to Vegas at LS Fest West. That's right, baby, LS Fest! So you can tell who, you can tell who's gonna be our live host. So him, Gary, the whole crew will be out there. Mm -hmm. Make sure you come out. We'll put the link somewhere below where you can buy tickets. That's right. Come out and you'll get your car on daily transmission and we'll pick some of our top favorites and then we'll do actually build breakdown episodes on them. That's right, baby. Live LS Fest 2018 V8 Smash all f***ing weekend long, baby! Las Vegas! Ah! I mean, I'm pretty excited too. Ah, uh, yeah, it works all right. But that's not what we're here for today. One of my favorite episodes of Daily Transmission was with my good friend Chris Miller. And uh, I don't know if you remember him, he had that. Uh, we called it a shit car, it was a Cressida, he paid $500 for it. Manual swapped it and did all kinds of cool stuff to it, but the episode got deleted by YouTube. So we're gonna put it back right here. The car is actually getting a 1J swap right now. So if you want this car to come back, comment below after you watch the whole video. Alright, so we got a special guest today, a good friend of mine. Uh, he drives an RX-7, but he didn't bring his RX-7, he brought his daily driver. He is one half of the Brothers of Destruction. I think both of them are here today. Uh, let's check out what we got. You guys came here to fix parts? Is this T2? The welded one? This is mine that Darnall welded for him. The one that you were going to use at one point? Oh yeah, yeah. This is an S5. Yeah. So yeah, that's Chris and Jamie, aka Brothers of Destruction. Can't introduce them right now, but that's the car we're going to look at today. It's Chris's daily. <laughs> seven parts aka the bane of our existence right <laughs> <laughs> so I mean you could you could consider this like for the price you paid because I know what he paid the price you paid you can consider this shit car yeah you could consider this is shit car pricing with amenities how, how much money did you pay for this thing four thousand paid four hundred bucks four hundred as is how is it Pretty much, the guy let me borrow some wheels. Uh, I had to give them back, so these are still borrowed. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. so you just but, thought you're cruising on some borrowed Johnnies. Yeah, yeah. This is a high class shit car. This is a luxury yeah, shit yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's the, you know, that's a $350. But for that extra $50, you can upgrade <laughs> to a four door. <laughs> Does that thing have power steering? Yeah, it's got power steering. I don't have power steering. The AC still blows, it doesn't blow cold. I have AC. I have what? Cold. Bone cold, ice cold AC. Pop the Johnny. Ice cold. Am I gonna see a 2J or 1J or something in this Johnny? Good old Japanese. Good old Japanese? Good old Japanese 5M. Uh, what M? 5M GE. Um, 5M, is that like the 7M? Yeah, it's just a, they're actually, to me, they're a little better, honestly. The 7Ms come with like some horrible, like head gaskets. I heard the 7Ms come with blown head gaskets yeah, yeah, from yeah, the factory. From the factory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
This one probably makes like 80 horsepower. You can see there's oil everywhere just because it's a 5M. So, so this is your daily? This is my daily. So bone stock, 5M. It's got uh, AC. So, all right, so you bought this car for 400 bucks. Yep. It was automatic. Had coilovers, it was automatic. The, the AC didn't work. Front. AC didn't work. Um, it had some funky, like fart can exhaust. Some like super flimsy steering wheel. Yeah, and it was automatic. That was pretty much pretty much what I got for 400 bucks. <laughs> but now, I see you got a little. Yeah. You got a little Johnny yep, in there. Yep, Craigslist fine. I found a W58 for another 400 bucks. Um, I had Rob at Sideways Performance in Santa Ana help me out. Uh, we threw it in in like 30 minutes. $400 uh, into a car, a couple hundred dollars into a five-speed swap. Yeah. A welded diff, I'm sure, yeah, welded right? welded diff. Darnall welded the diff. Circle track eBay springs in the back uh, with Camaro shocks. It feels awesome. It feels like coils. The front is like some, you know, just some Megan's. Some booties. Megan's welded to the, uh, <laughs> welded to the hub or whatever, but, you know, it jams though, man. Yeah, I respect you for representing the speedways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. Yeah, I respect that. I got the springs. Yo. So the four hundred dollars, couple hundred bucks for sh for five speeds, yeah. uh, welded diff, exhaust tip, some nice uh, some nice shiners. Yeah, you guys have a shirt that's that's uh, it says cut the springs and, and weld the diff, I think, or something like that. Yeah, this is basically the, this is with the epitome the, of that. So John Chase, he designed that. That's, he called it the Instant Awesome Collection. So I mean, when you look at the shirts, this is what it's for. You buy a four hundred dollar car, you weld the diff, you cut the springs. You make it drift. Yeah, shit car doesn't have to look like shit. You know what to say? Yeah. Yeah. That you only meant well, well, cause you did. You know, you can. Hey, hey shit car hey. looks good. You better, you better, <laughs> hey, yeah, you better watch hey, your hey, mouth. Hey, 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 hey you, you know better. what I meant, all right? I'm a stun on that hood vent. Look at that hood vent over there. That's rally right. spec. Whatever. That's rally spec. You know what? Just for disrespecting shit car, I'm a stunt on you and shit car today. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's in that. In that. I'm Just have the windows you, up with the AC. Yeah, on. have fun with that. You're going to have 12 horsepower at that point. <laughs> oh, well, it rips with 12. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt myself. This motherfucker has power seats. Yeah. Yeah. And it works. Yes, they work. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, but this is not on. It's not on. But does it have the arrow that shit car has? Rally spec hood vent. No doors for maximum uh, cooling. Got a Volvo lip. That's about it for arrow. You, you turned this into a shit car shit. battle. Let's get this party I'm jumping. I this car about $1,100 total. I want to see. So where I'm at right now. I want to see how this car performs. I haven't actually seen it do anything yet. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna see what you got so I know what I need to do because you, you disrespect the shit car and I do not appreciate it. Dude, this thing is sick. Yeah, this car is you know pretty funny. Is I was talking to Chris about like 15 years ago, nobody wanted a Cressy. Yeah, and nobody. now. And now everybody now has to have a Cressy. Everybody. 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 You know, he got this thing for 400 bucks. That's what I heard. He's running, driving car, 400 bucks. And he's just fixed the AC on it. Oh, and the AC works? And it's got power seats. Wait, wait, are you shivering what? your timbers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> shivering your timbers? <laughs> Ice cold. Ice cold. It's Damn, that is pretty. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just got just got kicking. It just got kicking. So you yeah. have a proper daily. Oh yeah. Comfortable yeah. proper daily. That thing is low. Yeah, it, it, static it's, low. You know, I'm proud of Chris from turning this because I remember when he bought it, and all I thought, all I thought to myself was, uh, man, he's taking away time from his FC. Cut, cut to his FC. Chris was almost a circle jerk world champ, but unfortunately he went up against uh, Will Rogie. The champion. Oh so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but I want you to see his FC. It's sick, and we're gonna do a build breakdown on that later. But I was mad at him for buying this because I'm like, yo, man, just make your car extra sick. But this car is extra sick for a fraction of the cost. So I'm 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 sad and jealous. So I need a street car, man. What are you thinking? You can your FD at. I don't have one yet. FD, you're get a street car I can't FD. afford FD parts. Get an old vintage Toyota. You're not. Yeah, you just. What you just? Want to do the S2K army. No, thank you. Don't never, go never ever. You can fit me. You got tanks? <laughs> uh, Kinda, sorta. Hey man, I wanna see what this thing do. You know he's disrespecting shit car. 
I didn't, I didn't. What? Yeah, so yeah. Oh, he, oh, we get it. We get oh, it. Did. Yeah. We hey, get it. It was Air more of a, it was a little bit more. No, his uh, exact words were shit car doesn't have to look like shit. Yeah, no, shit car doesn't have to look like shit. What? I said a shit car. This is my shit car. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Hey, Brandon, I need you to do a disrespected to death on shit car right now because he just disrespected it what, to what death. What did you say? What did, what did you say? I said oh. a shit car doesn't have to look like no, no, shit. No, always had it. <laughs> 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 That's good. All right, let's see shit car, your shit car, do some shit car you know, things. because like someone's got pizza deliveries here. Oh. So let's go handle yeah, that yeah, real right. quick. Just roast them. Yeah, come on. ran over his car. Charged me, man. I was trying to get the face. So I want to see a couple more shitties. That's a sick shit car. <laughs> AC, on. AC on and everything. Stay cool, stay calm. You think it's uh, you think it's better than our shit car? Is that a is that a question? It's a real question. I'm gonna have to see a. I'm gonna. Let's see a jam, man. I'm talking all that mess, man. <laughs> I'm not letting shit car get disrespected. I'm gonna show you. Give me the shit car experience. I'm gonna show him what life's all about. I'm holding on to it. All right. There's no door, sir. It's all right. There's no door. It's fine. Hey, there's no door. <laughs> hey, it's not my side hey. that's the problem. <laughs> hey, be careful. That's a lot more power. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what shit car life is about. I'd like to see it. <laughs> It's a cooler shit Jesus, car. Jesus, man. Uh, Just admit it. Woo! Just admit my it. My car is literally the cooler shit car. I have AC. It blows ice cold. Uh, um, the I don't know. It's on, actually. The heater's on, so. Nah, it's blowing. Well, I know you hear it. Huh? Uh, no, yeah, I will, I will pay respect where respect is due, and this thing shreds. It gets down. That was scary. Let's do some tandem donuts. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do some tandem donuts. Let's do it.
Oh my gosh. Wow. Woo. Man. I have AC, man. No. <laughs> yep. I honestly thought I was going to get hit that time. That was crazy. <laughs> Man, Hurt, you almost made me a hood ornament. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what, what were you going to say? That's what I kind of got you on the burnout. All right, yeah. well, <laughs> I need you guys to comment below. Chris's shit car or... Uh, Ooh, car. man, I don't... Comment below. Chris's mm. car, all right, I'll give it all the respect it deserves. It's... Uh, he had the AC running, man. The whole and time. It, it has it's all AC on, on the whole time. It has all the AC on the whole time. It has all the doors. It has all the glass. There's no... Glass, 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 it's got AC. It's fucking slammed. The truck's full of stuff too right now. It I got runs three good. spare tires in there. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. I'm Jack, you're Jack. You know what? You know what? How about this? They're both I mean, great shit cars. Back this back is back. a better two door shit car. That's a better four door shit car. You know how much spaghetti can fit in that bad boy? Spaghetti? Yeah. It fits so much fucking spaghetti in that bag. Like bags of spaghetti? Just or? like spaghetti. Uh, thanks for coming, Chris. Yeah. That is a wrap. The other day, a customer stopped by our bakery, which is where we sell you shirts and other wares, and uh, had a pretty impressive looking GTR. I wasn't there, but Gary King Jr. was, so he's let him tell you about it here. Are you in any of that footage? No. Okay. It's literally just beauties because oh, we right. lost, I lost all the footage. It's my fault. <laughs> oh shit. That was nice, wasn't it? Learn a little bit more about our boy Danger Dan. As many of you may know, you can come by here anytime as long as we're open. And a lot of you customers have beautiful cars, beautiful cars, but we can never show it. But fortunately, this time, your boy Uncle Gary and his boy Brandon got a couple pics. Dude came by here by the name of Matthias with a beautiful Liberty Walk GTR version 2 on Boston wheels, air ride suspension. It had all the beautiful tastes. It was some nice, wacky ass McLaren gray, but he came all the way here from Miami and he's planning to drive that damn thing right across the country back to Miami. So please enjoy these pictures. As you can see, it's well taken care of. The man knows what he's doing. Thanks, Mateus, for coming by. And any customers that come by in the future, please, don't be afraid to holler. Uncle Gary loves all of you individually. But don't come up here with that foo-foo lame shit. Let me rephrase that. Don't come up here with some bullshit. Don't make me come outside and waste my time, because I will grill you. Thank you. As you may have seen in Tuesday's episode of Field Trip, Vinny and I were out in Indianapolis uh, visiting Don Schumacher Racing. And while we were there, we got a chance to meet Nitro Funny Car driver Tommy Johnson Jr. And he took the time to uh, give us a little lesson on reaction time. Also, he told us what it's like to be on fire multiple times. Anyway, here's that footage. <laughs> Tommy Johnson Jr. All right then. Now, what do you do? I drive the uh, Make a Wish Funny Car. I'm Vin Anatra, and I drive a $350 BMW in a parking lot. <laughs> These guys think that I should try to do a staging competition. Uh, wait, no, reaction time competition with a guy who did a triple zero in reaction time. <laughs> well, you know, everybody gets lucky. Yeah, I had coffee for lunch today, well, so doesn't hurt. I think I'm ready to rip. What do we have to do? Is it just a button? Yeah, this, is, this isn't this is quite the real deal, but uh, this, this is like sportsman racing. They, okay. they leave off a button. Warm this thing up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, open your eyes. That helps, too. There's, there's way more to it than it appears. You can manipulate the reaction times by how you stage the car. Oh, okay, like so, deep versus shallow Yeah, staging. deep and shallow staging, you can manipulate it. You're actually leaving at the same time, but if you rolled it in a little further, it's gonna come out of those beams quicker. Right. So your reaction's gonna be quicker. It makes the driver look like a hero, mm. but it's gonna slow the elapsed time down because you're not quite getting a rolling start before you start to ride. Right. There's about a six inch space there. And when you're six inches in a car that makes 11,000 horsepower <laughs> or so, right. is makes a huge difference. That's huge difference. It Six multiplies inches. down to the other end. That's crazy. You know, because in like the streetcar world, the regular guy world, like that little bit of space isn't really doing anything for you mile per hour wise. Well, it'll do much for you. No. Yeah. You're gonna so how do you how do you shallow stage? Because isn't there someone lining you up at the line? They get you close. Then it's up to you to stage. Oh, okay. So once you get up there, you'll light the first beam, and then you know you're close to the stage. You have a pre-stage on, so you know you're close to the beam. Right. But you roll in, and it's like we have handbrake. 
Mm -hmm. So if you want a shallow stage, I would just barely bump the brake and just barely nudge the car, just so it just tickles the beam. So I'm gonna get all the ET I can, because I got the car gonna be rolling and then the clock starts. Now on race day, if I'm looking to get aggressive and need to need, need a little reaction time help, need to get ahead of the guy, one pull and stop. The car will make a lunge into the beam. Ah. I may be two inches, three inches further than I was if I had a shallow stage it, but that two or three inches might be two feet at the other end of the race. Right. The crew chief hates it because it's going to kill his ET. We need lane choice, kills that. We uh, might lose okay. lane choice. So you live or die by it. You but might the, get the, win. the regular viewer will never notice. Any. Most of the time, you'll never notice it. Back in the day, guys figured out if you could stagger the front wheels, so you stage them with this one, and as you leave, the other one's trailing behind it. The beam doesn't start until the last wheel comes out of it. So oh, you're man, that's a huge that's advantage. A... You're getting the car rolling man. before you start the clock. So they put a kibosh there. We, we actually do have a two inch stack in our car. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's all the gray areas that's of the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we'd be pre staged right here. We'd be in the first beam. Then you would roll the car in and light the second beam. What's here, we're going to light the second beam with the button. So we light, we're in staged. Go. Oh, I see where. Her. Go on yellow, man. Go on yellow? Because by, the, by the time you see the yellow light come on, uh -huh. you let go of the button, it's going to go to green. Oh, switch. okay. So there's no stage of yellow. It's four just tenths all, of a, all three yellows. And this is called what? Pro tree? Pro tree. Pro tree. So four okay. tenths of a sec is what it takes from the yellow to the green. All right, here we go. Staged. 037. 037. That's not bad. That's not bad. There's a lot of pressure when this happens. <laughs> yeah, there's no way around. Wait till the stands are full. Ah, oh, see, I went red. 003. Whoa. Hey, that's pretty good. Damn. Give me one of these drag cars. Let's go do this. In our cars, we don't have a button. Right. We have to hold you the brake. release we, the brake. I let go of the brake and nail the throttle. More so it's, it's a little now, slower like, than this button, yeah. Right. What's your best reaction time in car? Seeing the tree come on. Because <laughs> I've had some killer lights, but oh, the tree had to come on as I was going. I had a 005 or 8, I think. But actually visually seeing it and knowing I saw it hit the throttle, I went 028 once this year. Everything was perfect. I was ready to just have to hit it. It's just okay. There you ready? So you see how we go. Oh, oh, one! one. <laughs> Man, this guy is a racer. I like it. Yeah. Oh, Let's get this guy a car. Can I, can I put this on my resume? <laughs> See, you know, that's what happens now. You're, you're trying to do all this. It's real easy on this. Then you got the engine running, and all these people in the grandstands, the other guy in the other lane, the team motor standing behind you, and you can't screw up. You know, yeah, the guy was going wrong. I couldn't hear a super choppy V8. Right? That's right. You're right. You're you have your have your thumb. You know, and I need that. Just, yeah. just part of my sin. Calm the, calm the nerve. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy, you talk about, part of his can we talk set. about can we talk about uh, chop? Okay, so like you know, if you had to rate your car's chop at idle from like a one to ten, right? Twelve. What's harder to drive, funny car or dragster? Funny car by far. Yeah, they, I mean I drove dragsters for a lot of years. Dragsters for twelve years, and funny cars for eighteen and. They're way harder to drive. They get more twitchy. It seems. Well, so you've got to work hard to keep long and stable. Shorter wheelbase. They're built to do what we're doing. Funny cars really weren't built to do that. Same engine, but it's in front of your feet. Short wheelbase. Everybody goes, we well, just go straight down the track. Last thing a funny car wants to do is go straight. And from the moment I get the throttle, it's corrected. And I, I steer like this just all the time down the track. Once in a while, you might make it. That's a big move in drag funny car, you better make a bigger move than that or it's not even going to do anything. Because you have to make it change direction. You can't just, no, just come back over here. It'll just keep going. You have to make it change direction. But I might have a video I have a video of when the chute's still open. When I let go of the steering wheel, you just go the brake trying to stop it then. So yeah, I had one of those, yeah. Tommy trying, trying, trying to get that thing wowed down and he puts it in the kitty litter. That sounds like the worst thing that could ever happen. You know, no, the worst thing can happen. I've had it happen three times, and it's the worst. Throttle hangs over. Oh. And it won't well, shut you off. Don't you cut fuel pump? Well, you do, but it still has to it all yeah. up, right? Well, no, it'll blow up. If it's wide open and you hit the fuel, it's going to blow up. Yeah, it just leans so, out. So you run down through there, and you're going, and you lift, and you hit the chutes, and it don't shut off. And it's still going, and you're like, 
then you hit the fuel shut off real quick, then it blows up, then it's on fire. So crazy, you gotta deal with that. The crazy thing is like, you know, just knowing how fast you guys are going, it's like, if that all processes, it takes one second, like you could have gone, oh, what kind of 600 feet? Oh, at least. It's gonna blow up when you hit the fuel shut off, but it might get a stop. It might be on fire, but you'll get a stop. Have you ever been on fire? Oh, yeah. yeah numerous times. Boom! I've driven them for so many years. Now it's like it blows up, and we have little windows in the firewalls so you can see if it's on fire. I look at them, I go, um, that's not that bad a fire. It'll go out. I take it back. I don't really want to do 2018 <laughs> in a dragster. Oh, you dragsters are all right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, true. Okay, cool. I'll do one of these. Yeah. I don't want to do a funny car. It sounds too fiery. <laughs> now, if you've done enough, you, you judge the fire. Is it big enough to waste the fire bottles or not? You know? Any isn't the answer. And it is still on fire. That baby looks nice and warm. Fire. Yeah, thanks for taking the time. Yeah. Give us some tips. All right. Cool. Nads. Too yeah. much. I'm getting sick. I'm getting real sick. As you can see, our trip to Indianapolis was filled full of horsepower and stories of near death experiences. You know what? If you've been on fire, why don't you comment below and tell us about it? But just keep the really bad ones to yourself. These are like fun fire stories, not really sad fire stories. Quite frankly, I don't think anybody really needs to read that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Here's your moment of send. <laughs>